So today we're going to do a bold wine stained lip on Erica. She's looking for a statement lip that's going to really show up on stage but um, is going to last a really long time because she's going to be singing a lot, she's going to have the mic in her face. For stage, it's a fun, easy thing to change season to season. Most of my makeup stays the same year round, but it's like a fun thing to play with and get, get a new lipstick. So what I'm doing is just taking a small fluffy brush like this and I'm just lightly dusting the area around the lips so that it doesn't get into any creases. Then I'm just going to take this wine colored lip liner and just outline her lips. When I apply lip liner, I like to use short strokes like I'm sketching because if you try to do it in one line, it's just going to drag along the lips. I definitely think that the 90s are coming back. If you remember Drew Barrymore and Jenny Garth, you know, all of those girls wearing that brick colored lipstick. Everything always comes back in, in trends. We have a nice base of the lip liner, and now we can add a layer of lipstick. A stain has soft edges, it sort of fades. It almost looks like you've just been kissed. I feel like really bright, glossy colors are more for summertime, but in the fall you want something that's just a little more velvety. To me this is just a, a regular conventional lip, and it doesn't quite yet have that velvety texture that I'm looking for, but it's a great base to start with. I'm just gently rubbing the Q-tip, softening the edges, and then this is actually my little secret here. So I take a tissue and I take one layer off. So what that does is the powder actually goes through the tissue. It just look, added a velvety texture to it. Matte lipstick can really make lips feel dry. Even though it's very long lasting, sometimes it's not the most comfortable thing to wear. A lot of times what I like to do is just um, use a cream lipstick, but then um, add the tissue with the powder on top of it, and then that creates the, the matte look. I think it's really, um, it's really gonna work with what I'm going for these days. I feel like I've been dressing less girly on stage, but I still wanna feel pulled together and put together, so I think that's a really great makeup look for me. And that's how you get wine stained lips in three easy steps.